Hey everyone, welcome back. Austin here. I'm in our Cook Your Catch kitchen at the Alaska Fish House and today I'm going to show you how to shuck a raw oyster. So we have our beautiful Hump Island oysters here and shucking an oyster is a bit intimidating for some but it really shouldn't be. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the tools and techniques that will help you do this at home. First off, uh, I have a, a dry towel and then I wanted to show you uh, three different oyster knives. There's so many out there and really what it comes down to is what feels good in your hand and the size of the blade. You can see that this knife, more of an oyster or clam knife, would be great for uh, an East Coast oyster that are typically a lot larger than a Pacific. And then you can see um, I have some smaller oyster knives as well. This one has a, a curved blade and this one just a straight short blade which is actually my favorite for a pacific oyster you can see that it's around the size of the oyster so you're going to have a really good control with a knife like that if i were to try to shuck with a large knife um, that's almost twice the size of this oyster i'm going to have less control so first things first when you're purchasing your oysters or your oyster knife see what's at your local market what the sizes are like and then go ahead and see what kind of knife you want to get. So you can see on these oysters, each of them are going to have a little opening. And really, one of the only challenges that you're going to have is when it has a lip like that coming off the, the end. So it's a little bit harder to get the oyster knife inside. But for the most part, it's kind of a straight shot directly into the oyster. So a towel is always a nice thing for safety. They also sell the chain gloves that you can use. Um, so your first time, I recommend doing that or using a towel. Um, as you get more practice, you don't necessarily have to and you have a little bit more control. And today I'm gonna to show you just the first one without a towel, just so you can kind of see a little bit better about how to hold the oyster and how to get the knife in there. So first thing, I have the, the bottom of the oyster in the palm of my hand and I'm gonna comfortably hold it with my thumb on top to support. And all I'm gonna do is insert into that little hole and do a little pop and the oysters open. From there, I'm gonna come along the top so we don't lose any meat. And you can see we disconnected it and we have our oyster. This is ready to eat, ready to go, but we want to just take it away from the shell and you can see right there that little muscle and we are just going to clip that away and now the oyster is free from the shell. Now another talking point is the oyster liquor and a lot of people uh, talk about the juices of the oyster and they really want all this juice right now that's in here. A lot of the times at seawater, when you get oysters this fresh as we do, these are filter feeders. So a lot of that is just gonna be ocean water. What you can actually do is pour that away from the oyster and let the natural juices of the oyster come out after you've removed it from the shell. So as you saw at Hump Island, they tumble the oysters, which gets rid of uh, the outer shell and continues the growth. And, what it does as well is create a nice deep cup in the oyster. And what that does is it kind of creates that cavity for it and, and usually produces a nice uh, plump oyster that you can see. So if you're gonna try oysters for the first time, I always suggest uh, trying it raw just to, to see exactly what they taste like. These, for example, are just in these beautiful, nutrient-rich, cold waters of Southeast Alaska. And you can almost taste um, the difference in oysters based on the environment that they're in. And I'm partial to these um, Pacific oysters here in Southeast Alaska. Um, some other nice accompaniments are obviously always uh, lemon, cocktail sauce, freshly, uh, freshly grated horseradish, and a classic mignonette sauce, which is red wine vinegar, a little bit of shallot, and black pepper. So the special thing about these oysters is that you can eat these year round uh, here in the Southeast Alaska. They, the water is too cold for them to reproduce, so they don't really get spawny. 
Uh, typically oysters, they say, eat in the months that end in ER, uh, September, October, November, December, just because uh, it's a colder time of year, which produces colder water. Um, but here in Southeast Alaska, that's a nice thing. You can enjoy these in the sunshine, on the beach, cool winter night, um, always ready to go. So we'd love for you to come out and join us for some of these amazing fresh oysters here in Southeast Alaska. And for more wild foods of Southeast Alaska, go to exclusivealaska.com.